The Honest Farmer and the Merchant's Deal Can one deal really cost your honesty? What if a wealthy merchant offered you riches beyond your dreams, but at a price? This story dives into a choice between truth and fortune, and the surprising outcome will leave you questioning what truly matters. In a lush, green valley between two towering mountains lay a village called Greendale. The village was known for its fertile land, where farmers grew crops that nourished not just the village, but many towns beyond. One such farmer was Ethan, a hardworking and honest man who was respected by all for his good nature and integrity. Ethan lived a simple life with his wife and two children. His small farm yielded enough to feed his family, and he sold the surplus at the market to earn a modest income. Despite not being wealthy, Ethan was always content and believed in the importance of living an honest life. One year, a severe drought hit the valley. The crops withered, and the rivers dried up. The villagers struggled to keep their farms alive, but most of the crops failed. Ethan's farm was no exception, and his family faced hardship like never before. With no crops to sell at the market, Ethan was left with little to provide for his family. One day, Ethan decided to make the long journey to the nearest town, where he hoped to sell a few remaining goods he had managed to save from his farm. It wasn't much just a sack of wheat, some dried fruits, and a few bundles of firewood, but it was all he had. As Ethan entered the bustling town market, he set up his small stall next to a wealthy merchant named Marcus. Marcus was known for his success in trading spices, grains, and exotic goods. He was shrewd in business and rarely cared for anyone but himself. Ethan greeted Marcus with a smile and tried to sell his goods to the passers-by, but few were interested in the meager offerings of a struggling farmer. Meanwhile, Marcus's stall was crowded with customers eager to buy his fine goods. Seeing Ethan's plight, Marcus smirked. Struggling, are we? He said, leaning over. Perhaps you should sell your land to someone more capable. There's no point in farming when you have so little to offer. Ethan, though disheartened by his situation, remained calm. I will not sell my land. It has been in my family for generations. We may be struggling now, but I believe that hard work and honesty will see us through. Marcus chuckled and shook his head. Honesty? That's not how one becomes successful, my friend. Let me make you an offer. I will buy all your goods, yes. Everything you have for double the price you're asking. Ethan was surprised. Double the price? He asked, suspicious of Marcus's sudden generosity. Why would you do that? Marcus leaned in closer, lowering his voice. There's one condition. You must promise me that you will not sell anything else in this market for the rest of the year. You see, I don't need competition from small-time farmers like you. If you agree, I'll pay you handsomely, and you can return to your village without worry. Ethan's heart sank. He knew that the offer, tempting as it was, was dishonest. If he agreed to the deal, he would be betraying the values he held dear. But with his family struggling to survive, the decision weighed heavily on him. I'll think about it, Ethan said, unwilling to make a hasty decision. That evening, as Ethan walked back to his temporary lodging, he encountered an elderly beggar sitting by the roadside. The beggar looked weak and hungry, his clothes tattered and his face pale with exhaustion. Ethan, moved by the beggar's plight, knelt down and offered him the little food he had left. Here, take this. It's not much, but it will give you strength. The beggar looked up at Ethan with gratitude in his eyes. Thank you, kind sir he said in a frail voice. May your kindness return to you many times over. Ethan smiled and continued on his way, his heart lighter, even though his troubles remained. The next day, Ethan returned to the market, still pondering Marcus's offer. As he set up his stall, he noticed a commotion at the entrance to the market. A caravan of traders had arrived, bringing with them a wealthy man from a distant land. The man was dressed in fine silks and rode a horse adorned with gold-plated trappings. The man dismounted and began inspecting the market stalls. His sharp eyes passed over Marcus's grand display of spices and exotic goods without much interest. But when he reached Ethan's humble stall, something caught his attention. He picked up a bundle of Ethan's firewood and examined it closely. This is excellent wood, the man said, surprising both Ethan and the nearby merchants. I've been searching for quality, 
would like this for my estate. Ethan, still unsure of what was happening, nodded politely. Thank you, sir. It's all I have left from my farm. The wealthy man smiled. I'll take everything you have, he said, and I'll pay you three times what it's worth. Ethan was speechless. He couldn't believe his luck. As the man handed him a heavy pouch of gold coins, Ethan felt a deep sense of gratitude. It was as if his kindness to the beggar had returned to him in a way he never expected. Word of Ethan's sudden fortune spread through the market, and Marcus, watching from his stall, was furious. He had been outdone by a humble farmer, and his pride was deeply wounded. Unable to contain his anger, Marcus approached Ethan. You are lucky today, he spat, his voice filled with bitterness. But luck won't last. If you had taken my offer, you'd be twice as rich by now. Ethan, holding the pouch of gold, looked at Marcus calmly. Perhaps. But I would have lost something far more valuable, my honesty and integrity. Wealth earned dishonestly is fleeting, but the rewards of a good heart are endless. Marcus scoffed and walked away, but the lesson stayed with him. He had always believed that success came from cleverness and manipulation, but he saw now that true wealth was not just in gold and riches, but in character. As the months passed, the drought in Greendale finally ended and the rains returned. Ethan's farm flourished once again, and he used the wealth he had earned to improve not just his own land, but to help his fellow farmers in the village. He never forgot the beggar's words, may your kindness return to you many times over. And indeed, it had. Acts of kindness and honesty come back to us in ways we may never expect. Wealth earned with integrity is far more valuable than riches gained through dishonesty. Did this story inspire you to believe in the power of honesty and kindness? If so, give it a like. Have you ever experienced the rewards of doing the right thing? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more heartwarming stories from Happy Heart Stories.